Hey everybody, good morning. How is everybody doing? Hope everything's going all right. Do, 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 do. For those of you that don't know, I am writer Sam Wicker and you're here on my channel. And what we do is we run 20 minute sprints in which you can be productive in whatever way that you need to be productive for the day, whether that's writing, reading, editing, doing household chores, or whatever and then we chat for a little bit sometimes a long time if this one gets on my soapbox <laughs> i won't get on any soapboxes today <laughs> so you want to introduce yourself at least i'll try not to uh -huh. hello my name is gonzo i am her other half i am a as she puts it an old man i am a Geek, former voice actor, um, overall nerd gaming and whatnot. My YouTube channel is not really in war in use right now, but I do have a couple of cool videos on there. If you guys do want to go check those out, so yeah, that's enough about me. Hi, cool gamer. <laughs> I might need to put your link in the description. Maybe Hello. so. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So, should we get started on the first print? Sure. What are you going to be working on? I am going to be working on sending our taxes. <laughs> and then maybe working on the short story from the character randomizer that was back in February. Excellent. All right. What are you going to be working on? I think what I'm going to be working on is trying to read Mist Season 2, Episode 8, and do some editing on it. And, whoa, hello. What? I just now noticed this printout. Holy moly. What? Um, there's one where it looks like the printer was having issues lining up correctly so there are like lines everywhere see uh -oh. i don't know if you can see it yeah, yeah. so but, i have faith that you can still read it it's fine yeah but <laughs> i'm gonna be working on that and yeah that seems to be what i'll be working on okay so let's go ahead and get started here we go and don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to stretch. Don't forget to get some noms if you have some rumblies and the tumblies. And let's get started in three, two, one. Get at it.
All right, how did everybody do? Do, 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 do? I got in, let's see, where'd it go? There it is, 131 words on the character randomizer short story. I got about a page into chapter eight um, because I have some digital codes from movies that I'm trying to trade the extras that we do not need on the reddits. And I was kind of going through some lists to see if there was anything. Plus, I kind of flipped through that file you sent me and... There's a lot of blank pages and a lot of pages with just like one number filled in. Yeah. So I don't think we need to print the whole thing. Welcome to the beauty of tax forms. Yeah. So I would prefer not to print the whole thing because there's a bunch of pages with shit we don't need. Yeah, if she needs it, we can just email it to her. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's kind of what I did. Um, just because I had somebody message me on Reddit asking showing me their list and it was like there's nothing that i really want off of that list gotcha so but yeah okay had shannon pop in hello shannon shannon is also running some sprints right now so here is the link if y'all want to watch her replay or whatnot then go ahead and save that or have it open in another tab or something like that. But I also have pinned to the top of the chat the spreadsheet that uh, Kat and Devin, I do believe, have created for the AuthorTube uh, writing playlist, so to speak. So yeah, check that out for more writing sprints for today. We have plenty of them going on, it looks like today which is awesome, including Annual and Heather and Rachel, who are all three going to go live right after we end here at 11 Eastern. So <laughs> make sure to check those out, do some stream hopping. All right. So that doesn't look right. Why doesn't anonymity, non anonymity? Oh. <laughs> anonymity. <laughs> Ever look right because I can't say it. That's the reason why I never look. Mm -hmm. right. That's exactly <laughs> why. A... I've always heard it pronounced an anonymity. An anonymity. An anonymity. An anonymity. An anonymity. <laughs> All right. So, I guess without further ado. Let's jump into our next sprint, shall we? Mm, sure. Yeah, something you want to talk about? Mm, trying to think. Oh, well, thank you for the birthday wishes, Mama Maggie. <laughs> we actually went in, because Monday I we pulled a um, Peter from Office Space. I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing and was everything I thought it could be. Yeah. Um, we sat around and watched a couple of movies, one of which is one that she actually gave me for my birthday. One of my favorite old school 60s movies, James Garner, Doris Day. Um, it's called Move Over, Darling. It's hilarious. It's old school. Yeah, I think you got a kick out of it, too. I did. So there's some really good moments in this. Um, so we watched that, we did breakfast, we went to go get something to eat, we just went to go get Mexican, because mm -hmm. I really wanted sushi for my birthday, and the sushi places I wanted to go to here locally are not open on Mondays, so we just went and got Mexican on Monday. And we got our sushi yesterday on Wednesday. Yes, we did, and it was glorious. It was amazing. Probably, I, I have to say, though, the Crab Rangoon. Yes, we got <laughs> Crab Rangoon at a sushi place. Um, but the Crab Rangoon actually had crab in it. 
It was actual yeah, it was, crab rangoon. It wasn't cream cheese rangoon. It was actual mm-hmm. crab rangoon. It wasn't. Here's cream cheese wontons just because. Nope. It was actual crab, real crab. And that it was an imitation crab. I'm from the coast. I know the difference between real crab and the plastic imitation crab. Um, no, this was real crab. And, and the sushi was really, really good too. We got um, three different rolls. Mm-hmm. And let's see, one was cherry blossom roll. The cherry blossom roll, um, it had a little bit of heat to it. It actually had lime on top with some sauce and some spices. Um, I think it was what crab on the inside and then tuna for the top part. I think it was crab and spicy, spicy tuna. Okay. Yeah. And so. then there was the OMG roll, which is like a deep fried one. <laughs> which deep fried in tempura, which yep. makes it a little bit better, but I mean it's still deep fried. Yeah. Um, but it was really good. It had cream cheese, crab avocado, cucumber, and something else. Yeah. And And then then we had the, what was it? Salmon. The salmon uh, tataki roll. Tataki. Yeah. That's what it is. Yep. It had, you know, salmon and tuna and Mm. then the tempura sweet potato. Yeah. We tried that one and it was really good too. I thought it would be weird. (laughs) But it was actually pretty good. No, no. If, if you do sweet potato correctly in sushi, it's actually really good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I personally like the nigiri sushi, Mama Maggie, and I'm a I'm a big fan of, of most sashimi. Yeah. So yeah, and we were actually going to get nigiri, but then we saw the OMG roll, and we decided to opt for it and get the nigiri next time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Hey, that, Broken. Good morning. It was actually really, really good. So I, it's definitely one that I want to revisit. See, this is my thing right here. Even though it, we're only like six hours away from the ocean, that's the reason why I didn't really like seafood or anything when I was back home because it's eight hours. <laughs> and yeah, that just doesn't... I've never had much seafood because of that and yeah i get you i get you on that <laughs> See, the next time we visit the coast we have to go to an actual seafood place mm. i wouldn't mind taking you to hieronymus but their hours are so whack need to do more food scenes in my writing i have a lot of food scenes and i'm no hero i think it's like Almost every third scene is a food scene, which is sad. (laughs) No, because people need to eat. (laughs) Characters can't just do epic things without eating. (laughs) Thank you for reminding me. Not a problem. Let's see. Sam and Nagiri is awesome. Yeah. I'm around 24 hours from the ocean in any direction, right? See, that's part of the reason, like, there is a um, a seafood place that's not Red Lobster, because Red Lobster is prepackaged frozen stuff. Um, I grew up at the beach, so we never had a Red Lobster. I ate at Red Lobster when we lived in places like Kansas, because that's what was there. But there's a seafood place that does oysters and crab legs and all that here. But we are five and a half, six hours away from the coast. I don't trust it. That's just me. And yes, it, Red Lobster is not seafood. Um, yeah. Any more than Captain D's or Long John Silver's. They, it's, it's fast food. It's, now, Captain D's does have like bass or trout or something. So that... It's a little, it's a little different. Like it, it's, it's, it's local. It's fast food. food. It's local fish. <laughs> it's, it's fast food. Yeah. Now there is a sushi place that is actually on, I think it's Lake Norman, which is near us. And that one, a lot of their cuts are local caught. Mm-hmm. 
Right. So it's kind of like a local sushi fusion. Um, mm -hmm. See, I'm I'm a little bit different, Broken, because Broken has a comment in here that he's more of a river fish person. I've never had river fish since I grew up at the coast. Most of my fish is salt water unless it's like we bought tilapia or, or something like that or we go to like Captain D's or something buffalo fish hmm. see I grew up in the mountains where we live there's we caught tons of perch um, some bass a lot of trout a um, couple of pikes and let's see catfish I had a ton of catfish i personally don't really like catfish unless they're small because the bigger the older the catfish is the more it tastes like dirt to me not like bottom feeder so <laughs> yeah so i i just didn't care much for dirty catfish um perch is about almost the same I, I prefer smaller perch than I do larger perch. Um, but yeah, that's just, it's just a weird thing with me, probably. Um, the two are very different. <laughs> oh, goodness. There was a place here in Colorado Springs that bought their fish on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but the couple retired and went back to coast. Yeah. Old catfish tastes like eating the bottom of the river. Yes. Catfish are mud suckers, yeah. See, I've heard about that. A lot of, we've got a lot of, well, not a lot of fish farms, but we've got a few fish farms. And I had um, rainbow trout from one of these fish farms, and it tasted absolutely awful. It was nothing like what I grew up with. And I'm just kind of... I don't know. I need to try some more fish from there to see because they do feed them like cornmeal, but the rainbow trout tasted like dog food smells. <laughs> Which is not like trout is supposed to taste. <laughs> trout are the best. Yeah. See, for me, we grew up and we would catch a lot of spot, a lot of blue, a lot of, um, uh, we had some trout. It wasn't much. Um, sea bass. Most of what we would eat that were growing up was like spot blue and flounder. And, but we would catch it right off of the beach or off the pier. And we learned that you we don't eat the fish we catch in the river. We eat the fish that we catch from the ocean. So that's what we did just locally because when we would, you know, go to the pier and catch off the river, it was a lot of like grouper and, and, and mudfish and all that. And it's like, that's not what we want to eat. We want to eat, you know, like spot and blue and, and sea bass and occasionally, you know, swordfish. And that would just all depend on, if we still had a pole that would work for like swordfish see our our river fish taste better to me than our lake fish that's just me dad says it's gamier <laughs> oh you can have a fish that's gamey or if I the mean, farm out taste bad then they aren't cleaning their tanks and not feeding them properly so yeah that's I, I heard a rumor after I said something about it. Um, one of the guys that was, because it was at work, because they bought the fish from the fish farm, you know, fish and chips plate or something like that, that they wanted everybody to have. And um, one of the guys said that they actually feed their fish dog food. And I'm like, that could explain a lot, but <laughs> I don't like lake bass. It depends on the bass. Like, 
the fish that our um, fish and wildlife people actually put out to control something. I'm not going to put in particulars because, yeah, but they are way worse than our native fish. And they actually overpopulated and kicked a lot of our native fish down the totem pole a lot so that you can't find some of our native fish in our lakes anymore. So, yeah. They start tasting like dirt, too. <laughs> Buffalo of all three species have a mild white flesh that initiated a degree is better than catfish or many species of freshwater game fish. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll see if I can. Never had buffalo. Yeah, I've had actual ac actual buffalo, but not buffalo fish. You've had bison. Huh? I've had bison a couple of times, but not buffalo. I know, we've had this discussion where <laughs> buffalo and bison are the same thing. I used to run trout line to add protein to our diet when I was a kid and snare squirrels and rabbits. Uh Squirrel, squirrel is an interesting kind of meat. I like rabbit, though. The problem is bones. Their flesh contains many, many, many tiny bones and attached to the backbone and floating freely in them. Oh, yeah. Only the flesh of their meaty ribs is free of bones, so naturally enough, buffalo ribs are the highest priced part of the fish. After the rib slab is removed from the fish, it is sliced vertically between the large rib bones and fried. Now you know about buffalo. <laughs> Carp, yes, carp is another one. Um, so the buffalo fish look like carp, but they're not. They're not carp. Let's see. Hey, J O. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> wow, now we've gotten talking on on about fish, and yes. that's an interesting topic for a writing stream. Um, but the point is, we went to go get sushi last night. Yeah, we did. <laughs> In a roundabout way. Yeah. Most of it was tuna and salmon. And yeah. real crap. We need to like go fishing in each other's um, spaces. Because like, you know ocean fishing. I've never fished in the ocean. Ever. You've never fished in like a lake or river. So mm -hmm. it's got to be, it's bound to be very different. I would imagine so, because, I mean, we would go fishing, and, I mean, you've seen the waves. I mean, we fished straight through the waves. So, yeah, I mean, either on the shore. That's why, you know, I, I the first time I ever saw, you know, PVC pipe used, I was like, that's not in the ground, and there's not a pole in it, because that's what I grew up with. <laughs> we would have PVC pipe you put in the ground, you put your pole there, and then we sit and wait. So, yeah, sometimes we use PVC pipe for fencing out here. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, or, or you know, to put it on the pier that way I've got a pole holder. Well, that's what PVC pipe's for. Hmm. Yeah, you never know what'll happen in this stream. Maggie saying hello. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about fishies. The Swimming kind you eat, fishies. not the kind you keep. So, do they eat koi? I mean, is koi edible? Because they get they get huge. They get huge, and they last a long damn time. But I would think that they would taste pretty bad, considering that they're fed all the time. I mean, I, th I think that with, with Koi, at least for the Japanese, they're seen as more of a spiritual thing than food. Kind of like how with Hindus, cows are seen as spiritual. Um, but then again, there are people who eat, you know, like jellyfish and, Fugu, so yeah. Cod and red snapper, yes. Red snapper's good. I like red snapper. 
I have to say that salmon is my favorite just because you can do almost everything with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and for one fish to have that many ways to cook it and that many flavors that can go with it, it's impressive to me. But then I would have to say that my second would be... It'd have to be trout. I like trout. Trout or tuna. I don't know. Spicy tuna. <laughs> I, still, I still like flounder. Flounder? Flounder is up there. See, that's another bottom feeder, though. Yeah, but you... See, that that's the funny part, though. Is that you say that, but you've had flounder and you've enjoyed it because it didn't taste like it was a bottom feeder. Exactly. But who's to say that there's going to be a big flounder that has ate dirt for six years and it's going to taste like dirt next time I try it? Well, I mean, that's going to be any fish, though. <laughs> <laughs> Does one eat jellyfish? Do you spread it on toast? Yes. Yes, you do. Seems like if you poked it with a fork, the whole fish would collapse. Eh. There's a way to eat jellyfish, I know. Yeah. Um, from what I remember of the special that I watched like way back when I was in high school or middle school or something, they pan seared it, I think. But I don't I don't I don't really recollect all that much of that video i knew they cut like a lot of the center of it out and ate just like the the body frame <laughs> mm. whatever you want to call it like you can like cut it into noodles and mm. all of that um i mean it, it's almost like fugu though you have to prepare it correctly yeah well just like puffer fish you have to yeah. prepare like puffer fish mm. exact or otherwise, you, you kill somebody. Yeah. Well. Finders actually like really clean sand. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. probably the only reason why I enjoyed it. Whoop. Um, yeah. You're asking some important questions. You're not sure if I can eat jellyfish, though. I don't know if I could eat those, what are they called? Spider crabs? The big ones. Crab is, crab. crab is awesome. Yeah, but I yeah. love I love crab. They're 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 just I don't know. They're scary looking. I'm one of those that I can't really eat food if it's staring back at me. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I have um eaten fish with that's been fried with the head still on. Yeah, this is exactly it broken. When people cook something, they have no idea what to do with the answer. Slap it into a super hot pan and hope for the best. Not a fan of jellyfish in any form. Gotcha. I think I had a run in with like a little, one of the little round jellyfishes. It wasn't, um, but I touched the, the top of it and then it went away from me. Thank goodness. Because, yeah. I don't know if I can handle this thing. I'm a wimp. <laughs> if the food has the word spider or looks off, I'm not eating it. Yeah. My grandparents were notorious for not cutting the heads off of fish. They would just cook it with everything in it. I mean, skin, everything. They'd like wash it and then put it in a pan. And that irritated me. <laughs> Because the fish was still staring at me and I had to work for the meat because I still had to get all the bones and crap out of it. And yeah, it was irritating. My dad, on the other hand, filleted fish just perfect. Mom well, Maggie says, I'm not, I am foodie enough to try anything twice. That said, I will not eat primates or monkeys or lemurs or anything too sapien adjacent. Yeah. 
I think I would have a really tough time trying horse or dog just because. See, the thing with, with Maggie's point is that monkey's brains, while exotic and Cantonese cuisine is not so hard, is not so easy to find in Washington, D.C. <laughs> because, yeah, clove. Um, see, I, I, I do agree, though, is that, you know, that's a little too close to home, to be honest. Because at that point, I may as well, you know, just take a pound of flesh and cook that. I mean, yeah. there are plenty of people who have, and that, that kind of goes into, you know, like adrenochrome levels. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I'll eat chicken. I'll eat beef. I'll eat pork. I'll eat fish. I'll... Speaking I'm of willing to try like alligator. Yeah. I've had venison. I love venison. If it's cooked right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Deer meat is freaking amazing. Um, I'll even try bear. I haven't yet, but I'm willing to. Bears really, bear is like the gamiest meat I have ever had. Uh, and the one that I had, I didn't really quite like, but I don't think it was really cooked right either. It was it was really greasy and just, ugh. Um, it, it just, I don't know. It's kind of like, <laughs> there's no really way to describe the taste of bear meat, though. I don't know. I don't know what you could compare it to other than like the gaminess of a deer. But it's even more it was more gamey than that. Dog isn't bad when it's prepared properly. Horses are drier meat like bison. Yeah, I just I don't I don't know if I could I would probably have to try it without somebody telling me what it is first. Just like we did to my cousin with deer meat. <laughs> Well, that, that's how my parents ate dog. They went, my dad was stationed in Spain for a while before I was born mm. when he was still in the Marines. And my mom, she still tells the story where they went to this restaurant and there were all these dogs inside of the restaurant. It's just something that they did back then. Mm -hmm. But she asked how the meat was and, and they, got, they brought her like a plate of food and she was like, this is delicious. What is it? And they told her it's dog. And mm -hmm. she said that, you know, it tasted pretty good because it was prepared correctly. It's not mm -hmm. something she would go out of her way to get, but wow. she ate it and it's not like, okay, well, I knew that dog. Mm -hmm. and I think that's probably one of the biggest reservations is that people get hung up on, oh, well, I can't do it if it's cute. No, I, I can eat pretty much anything. I think once I get attached to it, that's when it's be going to become a problem. See, there, there's, okay, so you can tell um, who's been raised on a farm <laughs> and who hasn't uh, by, by something like that. Because I used to get attached to every single animal I ever came across. Every single animal. Uh, so, but granted we didn't raise that many animals when I was growing up on the farm to butcher it was still a uh, this animal if it gets sick it is not going to be taken to the vet we're going to put it down no, I can understand it, that I, I really can um, so to me eating dog or horse is almost while I'm attached to those animals, it's not necessarily that I can't eat it because it's cute. It's I can't eat it because something inside me is going, but I could make use of this animal. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you can make use of most of them, though. <laughs> you can't tame a bear, really. Um, no. I don't know. Some Some have tried and managed, but at the same time, it's just... Yeah. 
Rachel joined us. Hey, welcome, Rachel, to the to the weird discussions. We went from talking about sushi to fish, and now we're talking about bear and deer and gaminess. But gaming like deer. Okay. Bear is gamey and oily. It might be good in a steer or chili if parboiled. Yes. I... The bear that I had was a roast. Um, we made it up like a deer roast where we put it in a crock pot with potatoes, carrots, and onions, and garlic, and it just, it was way too greasy that way, um, so, yeah, maybe next time I'll, we'll do something different, I had it when mama was still alive, and I was actually still living at home, so it had to have been 20s, yeah. I think Kit, Kit was the one that killed the bear, I think, when he was having one of his moments and he brought us some of the meat. One of his moments. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do not like frog alligators or swordfish. There is a fishy gaminess that I don't care for. Frog is like chicken. Not to to me. The, the frog that I had. I haven't had frog or alligator but swordfish we would just cook it like steak. So, yeah, I mean, just sear it a little bit, and I'd be able to eat it, and I'd be fine. So, yeah. Hey, Chris, have a good day at work. I do agree that that there is a – swordfish is strong. It is. The I would imagine. Way, I could only really put it as gamey. So, yeah, I do agree with that. Let's see. Brogan says, my grandfather on my mom's side raised cows when he was allowed to sell to market, but eventually he started naming them and they just became really big pets. Cows are really easy to become big pets. Um, they're, they're very sweet-tempered animals for the most part. Uh, you get one every now and then that's would rather kill you than look at you, but, you know. They just stand there and masticate all day long. <laughs> Let's see. Ma Mama Maggie says, give the animals food names so you don't get attached. It doesn't work completely, but it keeps the awareness. Yeah, and it's it's funny, too, especially with, like, pigs. You know, you, you call it pork cutlet or... Uh, That's exactly why I want to get a bit of pygmy or um, a little piglet and name it bacon. Because you know as soon as that we, like, fatten it up, I'm going to butcher it, right? <laughs> it's their eyes cows have those eyes that make you love them yeah yeah he had a bull charge him and the cows formed a defensive wall the bull went to the market the next day yeah uh <laughs> I, so my grandparents on my mom's side they had chickens and they had a little chicken coop in the middle of the city and the one of the roosters, one of my little cousins, who is just a little shit, just started antagonizing him and throwing stuff at him. So the rooster went over and started pecking him in places where he shouldn't have been pecking him. And I believe my cousin deserved it because he was a little jerk. <laughs> but my grandfather went out there, and needless to say, we had chicken that night because my grandfather was like, I'm not putting up with this from one of my roosters. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, same thing, crossed the line, and it was like, yep, nope, we're, we're eating you tonight, so. Yeah, as soon as the chicken stops laying eggs, a uh, hen stops laying the eggs, it goes into the pot. Um, that was, that was our thing. And pigs, as long as it gets like a certain weight and you feel not fat, you don't want, you don't want fat, you want to keep it exercise and everything so that it's not gross <laughs> when you try to go to cook the meat um but yeah just nice and big yeah the turkeys are always christmas dinner and drumstick <laughs> i like that the rooster messed around and found out exactly yep, yep exactly and yeah we had a goat that terrorized my horse 
absolutely terrorized my horse. Um, so he butchered it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the fact that a horse, okay, so of course, of course, yeah, my horse at the time he was he wasn't a small thing. He was a good nine hundred and fifty pounds, give or take. And this goat was maybe 150, 200 pounds. And this goat would chase around my freaking horse <laughs> like a dog or a cat, a cat chasing a mouse. I mean, it was, it was hilarious to watch, but at the same time, my horse was like, I don't know, getting thin because every time my horse went to eat, the goat chased him off. And yeah. <laughs> The goat is good if you soak the meat in apple vinegar and red onion slivers. Hmm. I haven't tried that. We uh I've had goat. I've had goat, I've had lamb. Yeah. Goat's pretty good. I like goat. It's kinda yeah. like uh it's kinda like deer meat to me a little bit. But yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We need to get into our next sprint. <laughs> yep, I uh, distracted us again. You see, some goats can be mean, i.e. bullies, and they they have painful bites. Yeah, you wouldn't think that they would because half of their mouth is gum, but I mean they they hurt. It's it's bone. <laughs> and the horses horse bites hurt too, especially if they can really lay into you. Um that's part of the reason that's wrong with my arm is because I had a horse bite me like right here on my elbow. And he lifted me off of my feet and kind of shook me like a rag doll and like tossed me. And I've had issues with this elbow, this arm, um, all the way up to my shoulder ever since. That is the only horse out of the 40 some odd horses that I've known my entire life that I've ever had like a real issue with. <laughs> you don't have no issue with him anymore. Nope. We named him Trouble, um, and I paid him back almost immediately because as soon as I got my butt up off the ground, I reached and grabbed his nostrils and just twisted them together until he screamed. So I bit him back. Uh, that was what I was taught to do with animals. If animals bite you, you bite them back. Uh, so, yeah, it was on from then on. Uh, he tried to kick me, he tried to throw me, he tried to bite me every time I came near and uh, I just did the same to him. I would pinch him back. Yeah, it, it was it was bad. It was bad. Goats were used as method of execution in ancient Manoa. Huh. 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 I might have to research that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Before we get off on another tangent. Do not forget to hydrate. Get some water or coffee or something like that. Um, tea in Mama Maggie's uh, situation. So hydrate. Uh, get some noms if you have some rumblies and tumblies. And don't forget to stretch so that you don't have any pain and all that good stuff. And let's get started in three, two, one. Get at it.
All right. How did people do on that one? Why did not mute that tab? <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. So what do you do? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Nah, the echo's back. What'd you do? How'd you break I, it? I didn't do anything. <laughs> the echo was bad. Uh huh. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yep. No. You did. Yes, you did. All I did was put it on mute. And then uh -huh. it was mute. I didn't do anything. Uh huh. 70 minus 131. I got 239 words that time. I looked up to see. There's the echo. <laughs> it's sad when I hear the echo out in the living room. <laughs> to avoid the echo, I'm going to whisper. I looked up to see how long it's going to take us to get to where we're going today. To do our taxes. How long is it going to take? 22 minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I'll have to stop and get gas. Yep. Okay. Am I have to be there at one? Yes. Okay. Not bad. No. Okay. Brogan says we need to kill this guy. Okay, but how? Well, we have a weird amount of goats. The Minoan king kept a pit of meat-eating goats and would throw people in it. In ancient Manoa, meat eats you. Yes. <laughs> we have Jordan join us. Hello, hello, hello. Turkey is really good. Um, I don't care much for curry, but I'll take your word for it. Let's see. Turkey exists and some people even eat it. <laughs> He's joking about uh, Zai getting... Yeah, stuck eating human food earlier, but she'd be fine with a lot of it as long as it's meat. You could take your omnivore dinner somewhere else. Just thinking about it while I'm writing for when she eventually isn't undercover in someone else's society somewhere. Exactly. You gotta do what you can to blend in. <laughs> it's so weird. What are you? <laughs> Is that better? I think so. Okay. Is the echo still there? A little Ooh. bit, maybe, but this not so bad. Like wake word. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said the E word. So I have a Alexa here in our living room that I changed to the E word, E C H O, like I just said. Because things would pop up and people would say stuff on videos, and then all of a sudden, people's Alexas were buying shit. <laughs> I don't want that to happen, so I changed it to that. I used to have it listed as computer, you know, from Star Trek, but that just that would trip it a lot too. So typically, it's on the E word, but then I just said the E word, and it woke it woke her up. So, but the best thing about it and i'm gonna do a tiktok video is we i've paid for one thing to be installed on our alexa and it is samuel l jackson's voice because i asked for the weather and he swears at me and it is awesome i will not do it since it's your stream i don't want it to be flagged because of language but I i'm not monetized make, anyway so it doesn't really matter i am gonna do a um video from the Tiki Tack. The Tiki Tack. Possibly in just a little bit of him swearing at us when I ask him for the weather. Ask him and see what it does. I don't think it'll it it shouldn't shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Um we're gonna see if it picks it up on here because I don't know how loud it is. Did you hear it whenever 
so and so popped up. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Was it loud? It was loud enough. Was it audible through the computer or through the house, through the apartment? I think so. Okay, all right. So we're gonna see what happens. Um. Hey Samuel, what's the weather today? Unlike stupid ass decisions, you can't ignore today's weather. Right now in Newton, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. He didn't do a really good one, but I do like the stupid ass decisions comment. Yeah. So they'll have to like turn it up a little bit probably on their speaker in order to hear it, but I think it I think it was audible. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> Mama Maggie read emails and sent emails. Paget volunteered to co host my launch stream. Awesome for War of Prophecies on Sunday. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So an ad on Twitch where it says just say Alexa put XX mascara in my shopping cart. I think that should be illegal. Yeah. Oh. Mom and Maggie could hear it. Okay. I I do agree with with that because I mean there are a lot of videos that I mean you can even just look them up on YouTube that show that an ad on TV says Alexa blah 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 and then people's Alexa started doing it and it's like no I didn't want to buy that I think that that they need to to get the vocal recognition better because like our google because we have a a google that one recognizes our voices and it has different voices and different setups accordingly because it has learned our voice yet the alexa still don't so i think that that's one of the key things that need to be changed like i work for a company that deals in smart things and we get a lot because I won't say it. I'm not gonna say it because yeah. But we deal with smart things, and we get a lot of people who ask us is like, hey, is this thing that you sell um Google or Alexa compatible? Because I'd like to do the thing that we do with the thing that we sell. Um <laughs> and just do the request vocally. And I keep having to tell people it's not quite there yet. Supposedly that's coming. But yeah, I think that there it, it, it is a problem because you're going to have kids. The videos are cute when you have the four-year-old who asks, you know, hey, uh, Alexa, play blah, 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 and it plays the song. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's just like the old 900 numbers. Kids, call this number. Call this number. And at the very end, it's like, you got to have your parents' permission, but call this number. People, kids don't pay attention to that shit. So they're yeah. picking up the phone, trying to call and talk to Santa Claus. And next thing you know, their parents get a $50. Um... Yeah, I know. There, there's, there, there, yeah. I think you vague, made it sound worse than what it is, even. Vague booking is vaguing. Um, yeah, it, doesn't, it didn't help. I know. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's the same concept of that. Because that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen. And don't get me wrong. I I like having the Alexa dot. I like having the Google. Um, I mainly use the Google now to either play music or to um, set a timer for when we make coffee. Because I'm, I'm that guy. The Alexa, I ask Samuel L. Jackson to tell me the weather, and I'll play audible books through it or music through Amazon. That's pretty much it. We used to do Jeopardy, but we haven't done that in a long time. Um, That's what I use it for. It's a mild convenience. Now, we get our house. I will probably set up like smart lights and switches and all that fun shit. That way I can control them audibly and you're shaking your head. It's going to happen. Okay, so you have married a person whose ability with electronics is limited. As in, 
electronics and me do not get along. Period. I break them. I do something weird and they do something even weirder. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying to turn the lights on and the oven's going to turn on. Or, you know, yeah, no. No, 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 this isn't a 1984 scenario. This is not a 1984 scenario. Because, my, because yeah, both Maggie and, and Rachel are pointing out similarities in 1984. No, this is just... Get about 20 this is that. more, you know, past future tech. Because this is the same kind of shit that they talked about in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. I mean, th this is more... Star Trek tech, the 1984 tech. Yeah, everything listens. You know, when I'm talking about something and then there's a Facebook or Instagram ad about it, yeah, that, that kind of pisses me off a little bit. This but listens. If you have a smartphone, then this it, listens. Yeah. So having my Alexa or Google or whatever, it, it I'm one of those. I, I, it doesn't bother me at this point because they're going to listen regardless. Because, I mean, if we do set up our lights and everything, it's going to have to be like a cuss word. <laughs> no, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that because as much as both of us swear, then <laughs> next thing we know, it's going to look like a, a freaking rave going off. <laughs> That was a Disney Channel movie. That was the one with um, with um, Peg Bundy in it, um, Mom of the House, something like that. It was something House. Yeah, it was. It was a Disney Channel movie. Everybody's gonna have you know seizures from the lights going on and off because. We're playing something, and one of us looks at the Smart other house. one and calls him, yeah. Well, like, we go to my brother's house, and he is a full proponent in smart devices and just being like, you know, Alexa, cut the thermostat down to blah, blah, blah. I like that idea about adjusting the temperature and all through that. Um cutting on certain lights but it, I guess it just all depends yeah this is the voice of Colossus this is the voice of unity yes exactly, exactly. it's just I yeah I <laughs> oh it's gonna be NFC this has got NFC in it if you have a phone any type of smartphone it's already got everything that they're complaining about and they're walking around with it. I mean, you've got a microcomputer in your pocket. Of course, it's got tracking shit on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, every phone out there has GPS on it for a reason. Yeah. It's just, I, I, I just, I don't know. I, people, I work with the public and I just, people, <laughs> I can't anymore. Mm -hmm. Because worse than my hubs and he was a sailor. <laughs> Is there a real chance no one recognizes that quote? Da, 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 da. That okay. is familiar. Huh? That is, what is that from? You actually looking it up? The youngest kiss is worse, is it worse than her sister, the sailor, but it's because she watched way too much Gordon Ramsay. It's hilarious. I remember explaining that to someone and the look they gave me was priceless. Yep. Exactly. The fitness watches have everything. I mean, it, yeah. I think I've seen that movie like once. He is awesome with kids. What is it? It's from the Forbin Project. Okay. Yeah. Believe it or not, because that, that's why I was like, that sounds for that looks familiar because the person who says it is actually um, Victor from The Young and the Restless. It's like one of his earliest roles. 
Oh. Yeah, I honestly kind of forgot about Yeah, I forgot about that because it's been so long since I've seen that. Yeah. Been a while. What was the name of it again? The Forbin Project. Okay. Yeah, it's from like 1970. I it was one of those that um this I got on a big big run of older sci-fi back in high school. Yeah. I think this is like one of my favorite years. lines. No strings on me. Mm. The hand camera is everywhere. Yeah. Hey, as long as we don't turn into Fahrenheit 451, I think we'll be fine. Maybe. We've got enough books where we would probably go to jail if that was the case. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get one more sprint in before we go. Salvi. Uh, make sure to check out the link that I have pinned to the top of the YouTube channel because that is where all the other sprints are listed. Well, most of the other sprints are listed. They do a really good job about picking up who's doing sprints and mm -hmm. where on the YouTubes. And I know Annual, Heather, and Rachel, all three have one coming up here in about 22 minutes. Is that right? Um, Let's see. Possibly. I think Annual might have dropped his. Now, I see Maggie's comment um, for the sake of simplicity with your channel. I am not going to dive too deep into that. However, I will say that that, amongst other places, like Arkansas, are Easy. slowly becoming that mix of 451 and 1984. So, yes, I will agree with that. That's all I'm going to say because that's going to go into a, to a different rant that I'm not going to put on your channel. It's okay because I came really close to doing a, a rant on our our neighbor state one day, but I, I did not. Oh, it's a neighbor's state, so. Well, the one that's kind of hit a highlight or low, 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 low strung here in the last month. The one below was not doing as good either. So I, I know, but the other one I kind of had somewhat hopes for. The one below I've never had hopes for, but the other one I was kind of holding out for. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, the one below, it's like, big city and then the rest of it's kind of like what the hell <laughs> it's like you see like the giant city and that's one color and the rest of it's the other color and it's like what the hell that one giant city is eventually going to take over the whole state and it'll be okay good. then good good I want it to yeah because it's already taken over it's taken over half a four, TV so why four not cities? four other cities I think so yeah um, we have an ace daughter and a bond daughter we will never be able to leave Colorado just for their freedom exactly uh, yeah um, see yeah There's, yeah sprint 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 Other, otherwise this is going to delve into a topic um Short sprint, I would say a 15 or a 10. Um, oh, yeah, because we've got. Yep, yep. Okay. My, my, my Maggie even said a sprint. Okay. So let me. Yep, yep. We, we want to avoid the rabbit hole. 
we absolutely want to avoid the rabbit hole because trust me, I can get on that rabbit hole very quickly. Yeah, we we definitely can. Okay. All right. Maybe next time we'll get into that. No, no, no. It's not your fault, Maggie. It, it is not your fault. Yeah, it's, it, it's like I said. Point. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to talk about it on my channel, but I have not yet just because I kind of wanted to see if something was going to happen that I was kind of hoping that would happen, but it hasn't yet. So I don't think it's going to, uh, but yeah. Let's just say that the ones in my mind right now are absolutely perpetuating those southern stereotypes yeah. and they are circling around except for the one that's kind of like over here but they can go to hell too so yeah but there's nowhere else to go because every every state has a thing vermont i'm telling you vermont yeah maybe maybe maine too um i don't know i'm i need to do more research on maine but Vermont, yeah. <laughs> I'm no. learning Swedish. I'm perfectly fine moving to, you know. Sweden. Some place that, yeah, it, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to bring that up because that could get you team on it. That can also get you flagged as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if my southern speaking another language is going to be understandable. <laughs> Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> All you have to learn is the word svenska and you'll be fine. No, because I already butcher um, Spanish well enough as it is. And I butchered Latin back in the day. Mm -hmm. Sanctuary right, states is another topic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cut that to 10. Huh? Cut. Uh, let's see. It's 1044. Cut that to... Um, to, I'll cut to it to 14. Yeah. Um, Portugal, Spain. I wonder uh, if and what about Andalusia? Let's go to Andalusia. I want pretty horses. I still kind of vote New Zealand. New Zealand, yes. New Zealand, yeah. I'm all for New Zealand. Or, you know, Belgium. Belgium, they speak English and French. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. 14 minutes, Brent. Um, Colorado is nicer than California. Yeah. No, at least with Colorado, you can get, you know, 15 miles in less than two hours. Maybe. No, no, you, you can. You can. You can drive 15 miles in less than two hours, unlike LA. Yeah. You get on the 405, and it's like, no. We're not moving to a big city. I hate to tell you that. No, I don't, <laughs> that. I, I don't want to be in a big city. I just want to have access to a big city. Big city of trees, maybe. but not. <laughs> I need access to a big city. Yes, I agree. All right, All right, click the button. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's get started in our last sprint. It's going to be a 14-minute one in three, two, one. Get at it.
All righty. That was the last sprint. And I didn't really do anything that one except for like try to pull up everybody's stream. Is that going to go on so that they can get a little bit of watch time while we are gone, maybe? And yeah. I read three and a half pages of episode eight and shared my paltry YouTube link onto the YouTube chats. Yes. And, and yeah. you are going to have more stuff on there because you're going to write more. You're going to read a little bit more. You can do book reviews, all that good stuff. Possibly. And possibly do some of your voice acting stuff. Possibly. 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 All right. So make sure to check out the live streams that are going to be going on. And I will see you or we will see you next time. Everybody have a good day. Bye. <laughs>